it, it looks from the outside, right, that people who build sort of identity, like sort of more traditional identity systems are at odds with the wallet people. Yeah, mm. like the self-sovereign wallet people. Right. And non-self, you can get non-self-sovereign wallets as well. And it feels like they're at odds, but they're actually not. Mm. In fact, I would argue that the, 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 because digital identity has many use cases, then you need to have something in place that can use all of the um, identity systems that are already out there. So, for example, the re reuse of identity is um, one of the things that keeps popping its head up. And the thing is, is that we want it, We need to stop wherever possible creating random identity accounts of everybody left, right, and centre mm -hmm. because they're just going to get hacked. Let's face it. Yeah, right. So we need to avoid that. But people already exist as identity providers. For example, banks. Yeah, mm -hmm. and identity wallets have some pieces of, you know, identity data in there. And mm -hmm. it doesn't just have to be a bespoke wallet. It could be your your Apple wallet that happens to have your driver's license in it, mm -hmm. for example. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you need something, some plumbing, yeah, to allow the water to flow through the lines to get to the right tap. Yeah. So it's the plumbing piece, but it needs to be smart enough to be able to do a number of different things. Because mm. this it's because because there are loads of different services want to use loads of different identity pieces. Right. And then you've got people in the middle who need to control that and need to be put in control of that as part of a privacy initiative as well as anything else. You need to have some plumbing that can do a lot of different jobs. For example, it can protocols are very important in the identity space, right? For for, for the like a sort of language between all the different pieces. But not everybody speaks the same language. Mm -hmm. Or some people can speak a bit of the language, but then they don't have some other aspects of that language. Yep. So you need the plumbing to be able to translate the languages or to be able to take some of the heavy load weightlifting of the service people, the web developers who don't have the in-house skills mm -hmm. to really utilize some of the some of the really beautiful aspects of some of these protocols that are coming out. Mm -hmm. Some really beautiful aspects of protocols hmm. coming out in, in OIDC, that sort of area. And um, some of those that I'll come on to later. Um, you need someone to do the heavy lifting because just like some people, just like a lot of people don't have knowledge of open, um, sorry, secure coding mm -hmm. and checking open source libraries. Yeah. The web developers don't have knowledge, complex knowledge of protocols. Yeah. Generally, generally, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you need to do the heavy lift. You need to make it so it's steady. You know, you've heard of the no code, low no code revolution. Mm -hmm. it, it's really, there is a reason for that. You need to do the heavy lifting for people. The plumbing does the heavy lifting for people. Yep. It can go off, it can search around and find the right type of identifier mm -hmm. Yeah, for that particular transaction. And then if that's not enough, it can go off and find another one from somewhere else. Mm. Rather than reinventing the wheel every time and saying, right, okay, we don't have this data. Can you please give us it? And we'll store it for you yeah. insecurely. insecurely. Uh -huh. you, know, you need to start pulling in, pulling in all of these accounts that we keep creating and think, hang on a second, it's already done. Let's stop doing this. Yes. Yeah. You it. But you need the right bits in the middle and um, in the middle to be able yeah. to like use all of the different existing like wallets or mm -hmm. banks or government services or whatever and bring all those pieces of data together. And, um, you know, the, obviously there's obviously you, you could, the, the, these middle bits are going to have to be able to, to do some fancy stuff like privacy enhancement, that yep. type of thing, minimization of data. There's lots of, but you know what? This stuff has already been done. Right, it's already been done over the past ten years. The systems are in place, the mechanisms are in place to do it all. We just need to start doing it. How about some free cybersecurity training resources for you and your team? Just go to infosecinstitute.com/free to get eBooks, training guides, and more than 100 cybersecurity training courses, all free for CyberWork listeners. Go to infosecinstitute.com/free and start learning crucial new skills today.